What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to the next question dealing with factored form quadratics. So what we have to do is we have to find the equation of each of these parabolas. So we are given diagrams and we've done questions like this before, but we haven't done questions where we're finding the factored form of a quadratic where we're given the graph. We've done questions like this where we were given like the vertex and then another point and then we found the equation in that vertex format. Well, this is gonna be a little bit different because here, notice that in none of these were given the vertex coordinates, but in all of them, we are given the x-intercepts, right? So over here, the x-intercepts are like negative five, negative one, negative two and five. Over here, it's zero because it's going through the origin and six. And so what we wanna do is put these in factored form. So factored form is a bracket x minus m, x minus n, right? Where the m and the n are x intercepts, right? And because we're given all of the x intercepts in this case, we're going to have the m and n to plug in here. And then also notice that we're always given another point. So over here, notice we're given the y-intercept, here we're given six and three, here negative one, negative four. Sometimes you may even get the vertex as a point that you could use as well. And what we do is we take that point, plug it in for x and y after we have the m and n, and then notice that the only variable to solve for is gonna be that a value. So that's going to be the process. So starting with part A, notice we got negative five and negative one. So that's the M and that's the N in this case. So first we plug that in. So we'll have X minus the M value, which is negative five, the intercept, and then we'll have X minus the N value, which would be negative one like that. So we'd have Y equals A X plus five, x plus one, right? Notice that it's always gonna be that opposite sign. And if you're fairly comfortable with quadratics, you could even skip this step and you could just see the intercepts and go right to here. I'm just sort of going through the whole process. Now, notice here we're given the y-intercept, which is at seven. And so another way to write this coordinate here is zero and seven. And by the way, another thing to mention is sometimes these x-intercepts, they'll be given as coordinates. So notice here, we just put the numbers, which are the x values, but an x-intercept of negative five, that's the same as negative five and zero, right? The y value of an x-intercept is always gonna be zero, or this point might be shown as negative one and zero, or this point negative two and zero, five and zero, right over here, this is like zero and zero, six and zero, etc. So these x-intercepts can be shown in different formats, but a lot of times they'll just be numbers like this. But single numbers for an x-intercept, that's the same as that number, and then a y value of zero as the full coordinate. Okay, so going back to this, so we have this other point here, zero and seven, and so what we can do is we can plug in seven for the y value and then zero for the x values. And now notice we can solve for that a value. So what we would end up having is seven equals a, zero plus five is five, and then we'll have zero plus one, which is one. And so this would be seven equals a times five, right? Five times one is just five, divide both sides by five. So a would end up equaling seven over five. Okay, and then this might also be a decimal. So seven over five is the same as 1.4, but I'm gonna keep it in fractions. So the final equation of this over here is y equals seven over five uh, x plus five x plus one. And notice that we have a positive a value that makes sense as well because the parabola is opening up. Okay, so that's the process with these. So fairly, um, fairly simple. So same thing, we got y equals a um, x minus negative two. That's one of the intercepts. And then we have x minus 
positive 5. That's the other intercept. So we'll have y equals a x plus 2, x minus 5. And then we could plug in that other point, 6 and 3, that we're given to solve for that a value. Just as a heads up, another thing I want to mention is to solve for this a value, you always have to plug in a point something other than the intercepts because you can't just plug in negative 2 and 0 or 5 and 0 here because notice that if we plug in negative 2, this is going to be 0. It's going to make the whole thing 0 and then it's going to get rid of that a value. We're not going to be able to solve for it. It's kind of similar to when I mentioned when we were doing these kinds of questions for the vertex format to solve for that a value in the vertex format, you got to plug in another point other than the vertex, right? Because if you plug in the vertex, it's going to get rid of that a value. Same thing here. If you plug in one of the intercepts, it's going to get rid of that a value. You're not going to be able to solve for it. So there always has to be some other point other than the intercepts that's given on the graph to solve for that a value. So if we plug in 3, 4, uh, y, and we plug in 6 for x, we'd end up with 3 equals a. This ends up being 8, 1. So we end up with uh, 3 equaling 8a. Divide both sides by 8. The a value ends up being 3 over 8, like that. All right, so the equation for this over here ends up being y equals uh, 3 over 8 x minus 2, or sorry, x plus 2, right? Because it's negative, we switch the sign, and then x minus 5, like that. Right, and then finally, we got uh, part c. Notice that one of the intercepts in this case is the origin. So one of the intercepts is 0. So what we would end up having is x minus 0 and then x minus 6. And then x minus 0, that's just x. So we can rewrite this as a x x minus 6. Okay, and then even nicer, we could get rid of this bracket. We could put the a and the x together because there's no other number here where we have to distribute that a to. And so we'd end up like this. Just in general, whenever you have um, a quadratic in that kind of format, one when the x if an x is by itself like this, then one of the x-intercepts is always going to be zero. Right? Whenever you see something like this. So um, now we can solve for that a value and we would use this point negative 1, negative 4. So we plug in negative 4 for y, negative 1 for x, and we'd end up with negative 4 equals a times negative 1. Uh, negative 1 minus 6 would give us negative 7. And so just be careful with the signs here. Negative 1 times negative 7 gives us 7, positive 7 and then divide both sides by 7 to get the a by itself, we end up with negative 4 over 7 for a. And notice that it makes sense that we get a negative a value because this parabola is opening down. And so the final equation for this parabola would be negative 4 over 7x, right? That x is by itself for that intercept of 0, and then we have an x minus 6, like that. All right, so fairly simple process with these. Um, just recognize what kind of graph you're given because on the test, they're not going to say uh, find the equation in factor form or find the equation in vertex form. Maybe they will. Maybe your teacher will state that. But if they don't, you got to recognize, okay, are we given a vertex and a point like we were given before? So then we find the vertex form of a quadratic. Or are we given the intercepts and then another point? And then if you're given that information, you want to find the factored form.